So today we're looking at the Jaybird Freedoms, Jaybird's latest Bluetooth earbuds, but this time with a bit of a different form factor than we're used to seeing. Now let's take a look at what you get when you pick up a pair. Of course, you get some nice packaging, but inside you're greeted with earbuds and its charging block, which also functions as an additional power source, but we'll talk about that later. Look a little deeper and you'll also find a carrying case and some paperwork if you want to learn all the ins and outs of it. We've got some goodies inside of the carrying case like extra ear tips in the form of silicone tips and Compli foam tips. You also get ear fins to keep them in place, a tiny micro USB cable, and a few clips to help adjust the length of the cable. All of this is pretty standard for what Jaybird includes in their packaging nowadays. Now, packaging aside, let's talk about the design of the Freedoms. These have a radically different design than the Blue Buds X and the X2s, and they come in four different colors, carbon, gold, blaze, and ocean. The earbuds have a much smaller footprint, but it's actually a gift and a curse. The portion that goes into your ear is very easy to work with and allows it to feel really lightweight because of the decreased size. The remote is now quite a bit larger, and that's where we start to have our problem. It has all the functions you'd expect like a play and pause button, volume controls, a mic, and even some charging pins on the back that give it the ability to charge on the go. What sucks is that the remote is now a lot heavier, which causes a problem when you're moving around a lot or you're working out. With normal activity, these fit in the ear very easily and tend to stay put, but when I tried working out with them, the right side with the remote constantly fell out my ear from the movement. I tried using the included wingtips and while they did help, they didn't completely solve my problem. I was ready to write these off as earbuds not suited for very active workouts, until I tried using them with Compli foam tips. These ear tips are awesome because you can alter the shape of them as you press down on it, and this means it will conform to the shape of your ear canal, allowing for a much better fit. With these in, I found the comfort and stability I was looking for, even without the wing tips. And guys, this is why I like to stress finding the right ear tips that work for you when you're using in earbuds. While I'm glad I found a solution to keeping these in, I'll also warn you guys to be careful of leaving these around your neck. If you let them just chill there without being in your ear and you end up moving around, the side with the remote can potentially slide down your neck, fall off, and you may not notice. So be careful. One thing to note though, is that the build quality of the Freedoms is really good. These feel as premium as you'd expect, and since Jaybird made these, I'm really confident in its durability. The Blue Buds X and the X2s have been impressive in that department, so I'd expect the same here. Now, let's talk about some of the features this guy is packing. Of course, since these are Bluetooth earbuds, you'll be pairing it wirelessly to your devices, and it has some very good range, so you don't have to hug your device to keep listening to your audio. Another feature we've gotta talk about is the ability to charge these on the go. With the included charging cable, you can attach this to the remote, and even if it isn't plugged in, it'll charge your earbuds. Think of it as a portable charger for the Freedoms. This can extend battery life from four hours up to eight hours, which basically doubles it. Now this is cool and all, but like I said before, the remote can be a little bit heavy, so adding this onto such a lightweight pair of earbuds can make it a bit iffy. For casual use like sitting back and listening or even walking around a bit won't be much of a problem, but if you plan on being active while this thing is attached, forget about it. It'll just be too heavy to comfortably keep the right side in place. Weight issues aside, it's pretty cool to be able to charge these without having to keep the earbuds plugged into a wall. Another warning though, the charging clip is pretty small, which makes it easy to forget or misplace. If you forget to bring this on a trip, you'll be out of luck if they die on you. Now, I actually took the Freedoms with me on my honeymoon, but I forgot the charging dock, and I ended up not being able to use these as much as I wanted to. But the Freedoms have two features that I'm really in love with. First being multi-point. What this feature does is it allows you to pair the Freedoms with two devices simultaneously. So if you've got this paired to your phone and your computer, you can listen to your computer and answer a phone call without having to switch over or disconnect anything. And this is a feature I think every Bluetooth headphone should have. I was introduced to something like this feature years ago with some random earbuds I had back in the day, but never saw it again in any of the devices that have been made lately. But I'm super glad a top earbud brand like Jaybird is implementing it into its devices. The second feature I love is actually the companion app, and I love this because you can completely customize the sound that you get out of these. You have your signature profile, which is the default, but you can also pick between a few more profiles like bring the bass, 
R&B jams, and quite a few more. You've also got some featured profiles from some athletes that Jaybird has partnered with if you want to see what kind of sound they're into. You can also download other profiles if you want to try out something new. What I like about these profiles is that you can customize them to fit your taste or the music you're currently listening to to get the best matching sound out of these. You can save your customized profile so you can use them whenever you want. And what's really awesome about the Freedoms is that the firmware updates within the earbuds themselves. So when you choose a new profile, you can bring that customized sound over to any device that you connect the Freedoms to. So if you like bass, add as much as you want, save it, and you're good to go. If you appreciate vocals a bit more, you can bring those up too. It may take a little tweaking to find exactly what you like, but it's definitely worth the experimenting if you want some amazing sound quality that works for you. Now, I've been a bit hard on these in certain aspects, but do they get my recommendation? They definitely do. These are amazing earbuds with some excellent features and technology. I do have issues with the weight of the remote and a few complaints about the charging system, but those honestly aren't deal breakers to me. If you're looking to have these be your workout earbuds and plan to do a lot of movement like running or jumping, be weary of the weight issues when you're making your purchasing decision, but your experience may be very different from mine, so don't be afraid to try out these awesome earbuds because to be honest with you, these are what I use on a daily basis whenever I'm on the go. And I actually like them so much, I wanna give away a pair to one of you guys. So if you want in on this giveaway, be sure to follow me over on Instagram so you can get details on how to enter. And I'll of course have my page linked down below in the description, as well as a link to the Freedom, so if you guys wanna check them out, you can. And that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl who give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.